Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. It is sunny in Seattle. Let's get this thing started. I am super excited to be bringing you this review. This is a brand new product launch from Ilya. We're going to be talking about the new super serum skin tint today, SPF 40. I got the shade Saint ST6 Aura. I don't know if it's Saint or ST, but that's the shade I got. And let me just show you what this cute little bottle looks like. So I'm just gonna open this package for you. I've already ripped it, so full disclaimer. I was too curious, I wanted to look at the bottle. So this is what the cute little bottle looks like. It has a cute little dropper. And then actually, it's so cute, they included a little sample of their True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. So if you've never heard of Ilya, they kind of took the world by storm. They are a clean, non-toxic, green, whatever you like to call it, beauty brand, but their whole thing is conscious beauty. So even though they have natural ingredients, they like to avoid sensitizing natural ingredients. So just because something's natural doesn't mean it's always gonna be good for your skin or work for your skin type. And Ilya kind of understands that. So they have removed essential oils, um, citrus oils, and coconut oil. They do not have that in their products. And those things do not work for every skin type. They also, they do have synthetic ingredients in their products, but they are PEG, phthalate, and hormone disruptor free. So essentially they are safe synthetics. So it's this like harmonious blend of synthetic ingredients, natural ingredients, and then they also like to add like beneficial skincare loving ingredients to their products. So I haven't tried this guy before, but I'm really super excited to try it out. And, um, Ilia gives us some directions for this. They recommend that you warm the product up between your fingers first and then kind of press it into the skin and smooth it over the face. So I'm not gonna use my beloved Beauty Blender today. We're just gonna go bare hands on this guy. And I think I'm just gonna slap it on the face. I don't think I'm gonna do anything fancy. I kinda just wanna see how this performs by itself. I will show you the primer in another video, future video. I just wanna see how this guy performs. So without further ado, let's just slap this baby on. Alrighty. Ooh, it's like goopy. Okay, so I'm just gonna rub it in between my hands. I'm just gonna smooth it onto the skin. You know what? Um, this reminds me of the MAC face and body because with the MAC face and body, you're also meant to rub it in between your fingers and then have it on your skin, like smooth it on your skin with your fingers. And this is like kind of similar, but I want more coverage, so I'm just going to kind of see if it will still work if I do this situation. As you can see, it's running down my face, but slowly. So I don't think it's as um, liquidy as the Glossier Skin Tint or the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. But I would put this in that category. It's like one of those skin loving, it's a skin tint, you know? Sheer light coverage. Let me tell you a little bit about this product. It has three skincare loving ingredients in it. It has squalane, which is a plant-based ingredient that is supposed to help your skin's hydration and mimic your skin's natural sebum. It has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant that helps bind water to the skin. And it has niacinamide, which is a brightening ingredient used in a lot of skincare products. This is silicone-free, fragrance-free, chemical sunscreen-free, oil-free, non-comedogenic, safe for sensitive skin, vegan, and gluten-free. So anyway, I just wanted to give you some background on this product. Let's check it out in my mirror here. Wow. 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 You guys, I think it's so pretty. I feel like a Glossier girl. I feel like, you know those ads where they're so, so dewy? And that's kind of what I wanted the Glossier Skin Tint to be for me, but it it 
is and it isn't. Like it's just a lot thinner than this. Whereas I feel like this gives me a little bit of coverage. It's a light coverage, but because it's so reflective, it makes my skin look really, really good. Um, I would say the coverage is sheer to light though, but man, is it reflective. I just feel like I've just come from a vacation and I've had all my water intake for the day and I get eight hours of sleep and all this stuff. Wow, I love that. Yeah, I'm really liking it. So now I'm gonna just complete my makeup look. I thought it would be really fun to show you guys my other products from Ilia and just do a really quick like five minute face, slap some products on my skin and show you how I would kind of create this super easy natural makeup look. So I'm gonna take the True Skin Serum Concealer by Ilia. I already have owned this concealer for a while. It is truly one of my favorites. I always recommend this one for people who um, who hate concealer, people who hate the stickiness and the tackiness of concealer, because that's definitely not for everybody. Um, I know for a fact that you know the stickier and tackier a concealer is, the more likely it is to cling on texture and dry patches and seep into fine lines and wrinkles. And this really truly doesn't do that. So I love recommending this for people who have dry your skin or who have texture concerns. It's aloe based like a lot of their face products. And it's just really, really pretty. Just to brighten the under eye area. If this wears well throughout the day, this is an A plus, I'm telling you right now. Okay, so now that I have my base products on, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my multi-pigment in the shade Waking Up. This is Ilya's multi-pigment. It has a really fun little cooling tip wand. And I like this because it has a little sheen to it. So it's gonna really help preserve the dewy skin that we already have. It's not like a highlight or anything, but it's dewy. It's buttery, it's dewy, not shimmery or anything like that. I'm gonna pop this on the eyelids too. So I wanna make a little monochromatic look out of this. And then I'm gonna pop it on the lips. I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. It's a lot of blush. Oh my god. I may have overdone it. There's a lot going on. You know what? Just keep blending. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. I luckily managed to blend that out. That scared me. And now I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out my eyes. Yeah, I feel like I match everything. I match my sweater, my sweater matches my cheeks, that match my lips, that match my eyes. It's just so easy, you know? You can just be out the door and have like a full look going on. So next, I'm just gonna pop a little lip balm on. This is the Elizabeth Arden Original 8 Hour Cream. You've seen this little trick before, but I just like to take a little bit and just Pop some on for that wet look. Next, I'm gonna grab my little Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in the shade three, just to add a little fluff to the brows to complete this look. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara, one of my favorites of all time. This is the Ilia, um, what is it called? Limitless Lash Mascara. I love this thing. I love the brush because you have one side that is helping your lashes lengthen and separate and then you flip it over and you have fibers that help volumize. So it's a two-step situation. Damn, that impact. And 
and that is the finished makeup look you guys I feel like this took no time at all it's such a super quick face I don't think I'm gonna set my face either because I don't always like to and I'm so glossy right now that that's really the look that I want to go for and yeah can you believe we only used like five one two three I think five products I'll get back to you on that. It's gonna be in the description box. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy what the skin is looking like. I will see you guys back here at the end of the day to let you know how the makeup wore. See ya. Hi guys, I am back many hours later. I stayed at school way longer than I thought I was going to. So it is now 7.30 and so that means that we applied the makeup at 10.30. So, I don't know. I don't know what that means. It means eight hours, nine hours. Wow, I'm so bad at math. Just unsubscribe, why won't you? That's not why you're subscribed to me though. You're subscribed to me because I come in clutch with the reviews, hopefully. <laughs> um, <clears throat> wow. So, um, and I haven't even looked in the mirror. So let's see together how the foundation, how the tint wore. So unfortunately, although I mean I will be fair, it's been several hours, I see the remnants of the tint on the eyes, but as far as the cheeks go, there's very little left. Um, but the skin is looking really, really nice. There's no creasing under the eye. I will say, I think it's worn off in the middle of my nose a little bit here. Um, but it is pretty much on there. Um, the under eyes look great, which is always a tell for me. If something is dry, then you can see it under my eyes. They get kind of like, <clears throat> it almost looks like the pigment has stayed, but the um, product has evaporated or I get really bad creasing and I don't see any of that I think there's a little bit of wear just in the front of the nose area and I'm gonna zoom in to show you what I'm talking about so as you can see there's a little bit of uh, wear at the nose area the foundation is faded but for the most part it's looking pretty good under the eye especially that's always a tell for me um, and I think that's looking really really good all in all I'm really really impressed with this foundation the wear is fantastic I love that it's silicone free and I love knowing that my skin is protected from both my phone screen and the sunlight outside um, I do realize that I did a lot of in-depth research for this foundation because I wanted to give you all the facts and as you'll get to know me better, you'll know that that's just my style of how I present information and how I present reviews. I wanted to do a full in-person disclaimer that I'm not being paid by Ilya at all for this review. I wasn't gifted this product. I went out, I wasn't given it in gratis. I went out and I bought it myself and I wanted to give you the most accurate information possible, <laughs> but I did realize watching back the footage that it may have sounded like they told me to say specific things. No one told me anything. Hopefully one day someone will pay me to uh, give my honest opinion, but we're not at that juncture yet and I will always disclose it to you. I did want to tell you that, um, yeah, that this video isn't sponsored in any way, but I wanted to give you all the facts. So I'm really loving this product. I can't wait to play with it even more in the future. I would love to see if it is like my beloved Glossier skin tint that I like to mix in with other products to add a little bit of slip and luminosity. I think it'd be really fun to see how this product does with others, but um, at the same time, I don't wanna lose the whole point of the product, which is that you can have something that's silicone free that's also really beautiful. So I think I will definitely be using this on a daily basis and I can't wait to keep playing with it. Thank you so much you guys for tuning in and thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the support that you've given me to my new channel. I'm having so much fun making videos for you guys. Please let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Seriously, comment below. I will hear you and I will try to make it happen. So thanks so much again for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week you guys. Bye.